Welcome to Other Levels. Today you will learn how you can create this Finance Payroll Management Excel Dashboard. We will going to walk you through some smart formulas and features that make this dashboard both powerful and easy to use. Let's start with what this dashboard can do for you. You'll find overall totals of number of employee, total net pay, total earnings, total deductions, all of which can be filtered by year and month using easy to use drop-down lists. You'll also get dynamic totals for earnings, deductions, net pay, and number of employee. These can be filtered by position name or department name, giving you deep insight at every level. There's a bar chart showing the count of positions and departments, a line chart for monthly working days, and even a dynamic calendar displaying the start and end dates for the selected period. Plus, We've added navigation buttons that let you easily move between the dashboard and the data table sheets with a single click. It's created using only two simple data tables and a few smart formulas. No VBA or pivot tables. So if you're ready to practice or want to use this template in your company, you can get it now by visiting our website other-levels.com. You'll find the template available for purchase, and the dataset is also ready for download to help you train and learn. And just before we dive in, one quick announcement. We've published almost 140 full video tutorials over the last few years. Covering every step of dashboard creation in Excel, PowerPoint and Power BI. If you're interested in learning about dashboard design, layout, and visuals, make sure to check out those earlier videos. But from now on, we're shifting our focus. We'll now concentrate more on formulas, functions, and the logic behind these dashboards, the brains behind the beauty. So let's jump in and start exploring the formula we're using in this template. At the start of the video, I'll say let's dive in and explore the formulas that build this data table in the payroll log. We'll also see how the database is constructed and how we can then reflect this data in the main dashboard. From this drop-down list, you can select an employee's name, and you'll notice that the employee's ID, position, department name, and daily rate are automatically populated using the VLOOKUP formula, which retrieves the relevant data from the employee management sheet. As you can see, all employee-related information is stored in one centralized table that includes the employee's full name, ID, job title, department, and daily rate. This automation ensures consistency and saves time by eliminating the need for manual data entry each time you prepare or update payroll data. As we mentioned, we'll use the VLOOKUP formula to easily retrieve all the data. Now, let's continue filling out this table. For example, in the pay period column, let's say it's from January 1st to January 31st, 2024. You'll immediately see the standard working days update to 22 days. This value is also fetched using the VLOOKUP formula from the setup sheet. As you can see, the working days for January are set to 22 days. Next, we'll set the working hours, which are 10 hours. This will automatically reflect in the salary and then the total earnings will be calculated. Now, we'll specify the overtime hours, let's set it to 2 hours. The overtime pay will be calculated accordingly. Next, we'll add the allowance, for example, $100. Finally, we'll account for absences. If the employee missed 2 days, the absenteeism and total deduction will be calculated. The net pay will then be the total earnings minus taxes and total deductions. We are ready to explain these formulas in detail if you request any specific formula in the comments. However, I'll cover most of the essential and advanced aspects that went into building this dashboard and data table. For simpler topics, feel free to check out our earlier videos or request them in the comments, and we will create a video for them. This is a drop-down list that lets you choose any position name from your payroll data. It's super useful when you want to filter and check how much your company is paying for a specific job role. You can see the list is coming directly from the D column in the payroll log sheet. That's where all the positions are stored. And once we select a position here, Excel will automatically calculate the total earnings and all these other values for that position only. Here's the magic behind it. In cell Y2, We've added this formula. What it does is, if you haven't selected any position yet, it keeps the cell empty. 
But once you choose a position from the drop-down, it will sum up all the earnings from column B, which is the total earnings column, for only the rows that match the selected position from column D in the payroll log. Let me show you an example, I'll select position 3 from the list, and just like that, the total earnings for that position appear instantly. This makes it easier to track payroll distribution by job title, and helps you analyze team costs more effectively. And use the same way to get the total deductions and total net pay. Alright, now that we've added the total earnings, total deductions, and total net pay based on the selected position, let's take it one step further. In below, we've also added a formula to show the number of employees in that selected position. Here's the formula we're using. Let me explain how this works. Again, it first checks if cell C26 is empty, if you haven't selected a position yet the cell stays blank. But once you choose a position from the drop-down, Excel will automatically count how many employees have that position, based on the data in column D of the payroll log sheet, which contains all job titles. Let's test it together. If I change the drop-down to position 1, you'll see this number update right away. Now we know exactly how many employees are working in position 1 in our payroll data. This is super useful when you're analyzing staffing levels across different departments or job roles. So that's the new feature added to the dashboard, simple but powerful. If you're interested in this template, you can visit our website other-levels.com to get this template and all the templates we create, which are some of the best dashboards and reports made in Excel, PowerPoint, and Power BI worldwide, as certified by experts. Stay tuned for the next video, where we'll continue working on this data table. We promise to upload two videos every week from now on, each packed with new and useful insights for your work. Thank you, and see you in the next video.